go. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Strike on Muncie. Oh no. Okay. First, I want to report that he's okay. So, okay. Dave. Dave. Hi, guys. What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. We are about to have our final Atlanta Falcons 2022 schedule predictions video, the third of three. And it's been a very fun ride. I'm so thankful to have this with all of you. And you guys have been, as always, very interactive and very uh, fun to interact with in the comments. So uh, I just thank you all for your support. But we're about to have the last one. And then it's time to just sit back and watch how the Falcons did. Uh, now, there are two things that I need to clear out here. For one thing, uh, these are best case scenario predictions, meaning... If everything goes right, this is the best that I think the Falcons will do. What is the most amount of wins I can see the Falcons getting in 2022? This is that type of video. But if you want my realistic take on the Atlanta Falcons, like how do I really think they're going to do and really for every other team and who I realistically think will win the Super Bowl, you can check that out with me and my brother's L2 Sports annual predictions video where we predict every single team's record and who goes to the playoffs and who ultimately wins Super Bowl. Uh, it was incredible, ton of fun. Go check it out. I think you all will like it. Uh, so those are where you can find my realistic takes on the Falcons. But for this, this is like the best case scenario predictions. Enough talking. Let's get straight into it. All right, so starting with the week one matchup versus the New Orleans Saints, I've set this for the last two videos and I'm going to stay to it here. I think we do lose this game. I just, honestly, man, I don't see how we're going to win this. The Saints just have so much momentum for them, at least so far, uh, with Jameis Winston coming back. And uh, I think they, you know, no offense to us Falcons fans, but I think they kind of have a better roster than us. Uh, and then even though we are home, let's kind of be real here. The Falcons home field advantage just hasn't really been all that good lately. Um, and the Falcons have not won a season opener since 2017 in which we barely even won that game anyway. So we struggle with season openers. Uh, I, I just, I, I really don't think we're going to win this game. Uh, and I'm also going to stick with the prediction I've made in the last two videos about the Rams. I think the Falcons are, I don't want to say it's a lock for them to go 0-2 because you just never know, but I just think it's likely that they start the season 0-2. Um, on the road versus the Super Bowl champions, Los Angeles Rams, uh, that right there just kind of tells you uh, what we're going through, so I won't really explain that one. Uh, but I do think things turn around. And we get a win versus the Seattle Seahawks. Now, it is in Seattle. The home field advantage is going to be pretty tough. But, um, yeah, let's just face it, man. The Seahawks are just not a good team. Uh, and I know we don't really have, like, the greatest roster ever. But I think we have a slightly better quarterback advantage than the Seahawks. And uh, I think we have a better coach than the Seahawks. I guess kind of like an unpopular opinion. But maybe it's not. Um, and I don't know. I just think that the Falcons are... They have, like, maybe a better quarterback and coach. So I think that's ultimately what makes them win this game. So uh, one and two there. And then we also get a dub versus the Browns. Now that we know, even if it wasn't moved to 11-game suspension, he still wouldn't have played us anyway. Um, and honestly, even if Deshaun Watson played, you know, does he, does he even still have it in him? Because he hasn't really played in a long time, uh, which... I have so much emotion I want to let out about that guy, but I will just say this. Thank goodness that guy is not playing. He got what he deserved. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, um, yeah, I think the, Fal uh, the Falcons do get a dub here. So we start the season two and two. Um, now, yes, the Browns do have a very talented roster, but um, yeah, no quarterback for the Browns. Therefore, I, I just don't think the Browns are, you know, I don't want to say they're not going to be a competition for us, but um, I, I just, yeah, like, basically, I just don't really think this is going to be like that hard of a game is all I'm really saying, uh, but we still have to watch out for them, uh, but yeah, I, I think we're going to win this game, 
Then versus the Buccaneers loss, we just I, I need to see the Falcons beat Tom Brady before I believe they can. Um, Falcons and 49ers. I, I'm always kind of like back and forth with this one. Like I, I can understand why we could beat them, but then I also kind of understand why we don't. Um, Falcons, I feel usually beat the Niners at least lately, um, but. Yeah, th- this uh, Niners squad, I-, I think they're a little overrated. I Yes, there's talent, but I-, I feel like besides George Kittle and Debo Samuel, maybe Trey Lance emerges as one of the top quarterbacks, but, uh, you know, maybe Nick Bosa can come back too. But I just feel like that same team we saw from the 2019 season, it's just so long gone at this point. I, I don't think this team is as good as we always make them out to be. They make long runs in the playoffs but in the regular season they're not usually too much of a threat at least early on uh so yeah the the falcons i don't know i'm so back and forth with this i don't really know for now i'll say it's a loss uh so we are starting this season i believe two and four uh and then two and five versus the Bengals. i do think the Bengals will regress a little bit though um because I do think a lot of momentum was shifting for them last year, and they kind of took advantage of that. Uh, but now that, you know, a lot of the teams in the AFC got so much better, how much better are the Bengals going to get? So uh, it's still going to be hard. I think we're still going to lose, but just saying, I think the Bengals are regressing a little bit. Um, then we do get a dub versus the Panthers, so that makes us... Uh, uh, all right, at this point, I just lost track of the record, so... Uh, yeah, whatever the screen says is the record. Um, the Falcons and Panthers. I I just I'm really not a believer in uh, Matt Rule. I think he's probably gonna get fired mid season. That's probably gonna be a bolt prediction of mine for my bolt predictions video coming up. But uh, Sam Darnold not the answer. Baker Mayfield rooting for him, but realistically probably not the answer for them. Uh, and honestly, the Falcons just always beat the Panthers anyway. So, uh, I think we get a win there and then the Chargers, we lose now people kind of, for some reason are saying this is going to be a dub for the Falcons. Um, and I personally don't really see it. I think this Chargers team is just too good with Justin Herbert and Khalil Mack coming in. Derwin James got that huge extension. Um, th- this Chargers team, to me, is just too talented. And we also are on the road. Now, yes, I know that the Chargers don't really have a real home field advantage, but it is still a road game nonetheless. Uh, I guess someone has to just buy me into how the Falcons will beat this team because I personally don't really see it. Um, all right, now, at this point, it gets super promising for the Falcons. Uh, Thursday night game versus the Panthers. We can win that one. That is, well, it's not, it's a Thursday night game, so it's not easy necessarily, but I think we can still get a win there. Uh, plus we've already played this team two weeks before. So we have like, it's like, I don't think they're going to change within two weeks that much. If that makes any sense. And then the bears, uh, that's the easiest game of our schedule. Easy dubs, uh, Washington commanders, uh, probably a dub. I don't really see how we're going to uh, lose that one. Uh, Ron Rivera is fun to root for. Carson Wentz. I, uh, I hate to just put all the blame on one player, but uh, Carson Wentz just isn't really all that good of a quarterback. And Ron Rivera is fine as a head coach, but I don't really think he's going to be with Washington after the season, or at least not for much longer. So, uh, yeah, I think the Falcons will win this one. Um, versus the Steelers, like, I can kind of see a work will the Falcons win this one because the Steelers just don't have a good quarterback. Uh, but uh, let's kind of be real. No matter who's in at receiver, the Steelers always develop receivers. So, uh, our defense is going to have to prepare for that. And then the Steelers defense is just too good under Mike Tomlin. So I can see the Falcons in another world beating the Steelers, but maybe not this one, as I do have the Falcons losing to the Steelers. Um, Then to the Saints, we always get at least one win to the Saints, so going to get a dub for that one. Uh, Falcons versus Ravens. Um, I personally don't really see how we're going to win that. 
the, the Ravens are just a, a really good team. Uh, good defense. A lot of injured players from last year are coming back, so that's always going to be a factor. Uh, and then, you know, uh, John Harbaugh and Lamar Jackson in the Baltimore Ravens stadium. Uh, that's a challenge to just say uh, <laughs> for a Falcons fan. Moving on. All right, now the Falcons and Cardinals. Um... This is another game I kind of go back and forth with. I can see, you know, like the Cardinals winning this game because it's not like the Cardinals just don't have a chance. Like, you know, Cardinals still have a talented roster. Kyler Murray is still on that team. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury, even though he does have those second half chokes in the season, I think he is still a good enough coach to like at least put the Cardinals into the playoffs. Um, DeAndre Hopkins should be coming back, and J.J. Watt hopefully is still healthy. But at the same time, the second half chokes are very real for the Cardinals, and maybe it's just too late for them to make playoffs, and Falcons take advantage of their second half chokes. Uh, Falcons kind of have this team's number anyway, and we are home. Uh, Cardinals fans just don't really travel all that well. Um, So I'm actually going to say we win this one. I feel like the Falcons usually beat the Cardinals. And then, again, with the Buccaneers, I just have to see them beat Tom Brady before I actually, you know, believe that they will. So, it's really just like every other scheduled predictions video. I just don't think the Falcons are going to be a team that exceeds more than eight wins, in my opinion. This is probably the best that they're going to get. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support, and as always... Rise up.